Welcome, I'm Dr. Lori Hsu, an Associate Editor of the Journal of Graduate Medical Education. This is our inaugural interview with the author of a study being published in the Journal of Graduate Medical Education. We plan to make this a regular feature to bring to our readers some of the information behind the article and the practical implications of the work in the author's own words. Today, Dr. Caitlin Smith from the Department of Surgery, University of California, Davis, will discuss her study titled, The Surgical Residency Baby Boom, Changing Patterns of Childbearing During Residency Over a 30-Year Span. Caitlin, what were the most important findings of your study? Uh, actually, um, we were really surprised with the findings. Our hypothesis going in was that um, uh, everything would have to do uh, with the change in work hours. However, we found that it didn't matter actually for any of the participants in the survey, those who had children during residency or after residency or who didn't choose to have children at all, none of the groups um, uh, identified on the survey that uh, the work hours were in any way related to their decision making. What prompted you to study this? Um, anecdotally, over the years, kind of uh, just past the, um, the 80 hour work week, um, many of the attendings at our institution kind of noted um, an increase in the, a number of residents who were choosing to have children during residency. Um, and so, you know, as many studies go out of anecdotal reports, um, you know, decided to actually uh, complete, uh, perform a survey to decide whether or not this was something that was just a, a feeling or was it an actual fact. And it had actually, we did actually find that um, there is definitely an increase in the number of residents who are having, ch having children during residency. What do you think of the practical implications for program directors and also for trainees? Well, honestly, I think it just means that uh, programs uh, are going to need to be more flexible and be more creative in coming up with solutions uh, with, um, uh, you know, completing training within um, with this, this new kind of generational cohort of residents coming through who are going to have children, whether or not they're training or not, they just are more willing to go through um, uh, kind of the stresses of having children during residency. So because of that, programs are definitely going to have to come up with different and new solutions in order to uh, accommodate that. Um, so, you know, residents can still have uh, families uh, whenever they, they choose. Um, additionally, I think it makes more of a difference for smaller programs. You know, in large programs, there are flexible residents who can rotate from one, uh, one place to another. But in smaller uh, programs, it would obviously have a, a greater impact uh, on the training and the other residents in the program. Well, Caitlin, thank you so much for joining us today and discussing your interesting study.